Hello and welcome to my uh, trade recap video for today. Um, I don't even know what day it is. What day is it? The 23rd. Or no, it's not the 23rd. It's the 15th. November 15th. This is my trade recap for today. Um, this is essentially a journal uh, so that I can document my trades and uh, go through what I did well, what I noticed that I missed, and what I could improve on. So if um, I should have mentioned this yesterday, uh, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you can tell that um, I'm in a new place. So we did move. Um, and uh, right now my office space is in the basement. So it's very secluded away from the rest of the house. Um, we're still getting things sorted. So don't mind the mess behind me. Anyway, today was a choppy day. Um, I mean, after the big run up yesterday, it's not a surprise. It was it was more or less of a sideway day, sideways day. Uh, there are definitely some opportunities, uh, some that we took advantage of, and uh, we fell for some traps. So uh, let's go to the charts and take a look. Um, let's start. Actually, I'm going to start with oil. Let me bring oil over here for you. Um, and I don't know why. I don't know why my um, Executions aren't showing on my oil charts. I can't figure it out. Uh, but I took the I took one trade in oil today. I took this in, inside bar break right here. Um, took the break of this is the five minute chart. Took a break of this five minute candle. Um, went short. The trade worked out just fine. I think we got seventeen. Yep, seventeen ticks out of that. Uh, so a fairly short trade. Um, but it was pretty easy. It just worked. Um, the next setup in the PM session was right here. Um, I don't normally take the take the if, if there's an inside bar that's on the break of these two sessions, kind of break up the first two hours of the day into the two sessions. We have a first session and a second session. Uh, we're taking the first inside break per session. Um, if it's if it's at the you know right in the middle of the sessions, I usually leave it alone. Um, this one I didn't take, um, honestly, I wasn't watching oil too closely. Um, and when I was looking at it, it was, it looked like it was kind of hitting a bottom. And so I wasn't real confident in the price action down here. It just looked too sideways to me. So I did not take this trade and it would have been a loss. Um, I'm not saying that I guessed right or wrong. I just, that's kind of where we were at. And then can see it would have been a 13 13 tick loss so that's you know um that's what it was so let's see let's go over to um actually you know let's do rty next um rty i took there were two trades that i took in rty and i took them in my one three hundred thousand dollar account that i'm just kind of playing with um so these were not i didn't take these in my the real the accounts I'm trying to actually get past, um, but the first touch of our five minute gold line uh, worked. So I just had the order tied to the line. As soon as it touched, we got filled, sold out. The first I was in for ten contracts. Again, it was a three hundred thousand dollar account, and so the first uh, it just worked worked fine. Um, the first five sold out at ten at ten ticks. The second five at twenty ticks. Um, this one was I wasn't. This one was technically um, a break of a pivot. You know, this would have been the pivot and we got in. Well, I don't know. I guess we got in kind of right at it. So maybe maybe we can say it was OK. Um, but that's what I was watching at the time. I wasn't I wasn't really confident in this one. Uh, this guy over here, um, I did get in this touch and I really shouldn't have. Um, First of all, it was after 11 o'clock, which is kind of when we should stop looking at this strategy the way that we do. Um, but it looked like maybe we were turning the corner, and so I went ahead and got into it here. Um, this was kind of the same situation up here where we had, it looked like this sort of pivot area, and price was pushing above it. Um, and you can see, in this case, we got ticked in one tick above it. And it ended up, we ended up stopping out. Uh, this one, we got in one tick above it, but I, you know, in our favor, and it ended up working. Um, 
So something something to note here as far as the price action is that you know during this kind of lunch hour uh, the red line held. So if we would have this is 21 SMA off the five minute time frame, um, just something to take a look at this price this this level held really well and then price rejected down. So just a note there. All right, ES. I think I don't know how many trades there were like eight or nine trades in ES. Um, None of them too spectacular. So first of all, I want to I want to review my um, my kind my I guess first hour setup. I'll call it my my version of the the OTE the optimal trade entry. Um, so this is what we're gonna do here. Um, this one was a very unclear because we were looking at um, kind of these doji candle so what well not a doji candle but this you know a ranging candle here uh, so the question was i wasn't 100 percent sure whether this should be up or down um typically when i draw these i go with the trend um but if there's no confirmed trend i i'll tr i'll typically go with the direction of the candle and so in this case um we're coming off of a pretty strong uptrend and so we really should draw it going up and um, like this. Well, let's see. Let's see how that works. Oh wait, I changed my settings here. And yeah, no, it was the other way around. Yeah. Um. This is tricky because when there's no when there's no when the trend is not clear, um, it can kind of be iffy. So, in this case, there we go. We go with the trend of the candle, which should be the default. We should go with the direction of the candle. If it's down close candle, then we, then draw them down. And again, this is this is kind of my version of this. Um, I don't think I've seen this specifically taught anywhere. Um, but this is something I've back tested and it tends to work out really well. And I'll show you. I mean, so so essentially what we're looking at here is we're looking at um, the levels that I have on my FIBS. These are, I, I think I got them from ICT. Um, basically, I look at the 27%, 50%, and this 70.5%, which is kind of the, the perfect spot. It's a sweet spot. If it gets back there, it usually works out pretty well. And you can see um, it does. If you know price closes up here, it comes back, rejects here, and then comes down. Um, typically what I'm looking for in these trades are 20 points. I have yet to actually claim 20 points off <laughs> one of these trades. Um, but they, they work out. It's not, it's not the trades fault. Um, it's my execution of the trade. So if I look at this, uh, let's see, here's the, we're back to the one minute chart. This is super noisy. And sorry, I've got blocks everywhere. So we're going to go through all these trades um, again to just kind of journal them. Um, but I want to take note that uh, so that eight o'clock candle. Uh, let's see. Closes at nine o'clock. So at nine o'clock, we draw the lines. Right here, I guess here was our high. OK, price comes all the way back down to this 70.5 level. And then we get some bouncing around, okay? But it eventually pushes back to the zero line and then comes back down eventually to the 27 up here, okay? And actually later in the day, I think it, yeah, it comes back to that 27. Um, but the point is, if we were to take an entry off of this and hold it, I mean, you know, you got seven and a half points there. Um, I'm not sure, you know, I try to look at these things and go back and say, okay, if I was confident in this, where, you know, where would I be looking to enter? enter? And really what I'm looking for is I'm looking for um, some kind of a, some kind of a retest of a fair value gap or something of that nature to kind of confirm the the turnaround, I, I never want to just put an order there and say when it touches it, I'm going to get in going short. Um, and so just, you know, this is all hindsight, right, which is easier to see. 
uh, but maybe can help us understand uh, what's going on when we see it in real life. And really what would have been nice is to say, okay, we're, we're trending up here. We have a shift in market structure. We have a fair value gap that's formed here. Again, this is a one minute fair value gap, one minute time frame. Okay, we have our shift in market structure. We come back up, we touch it, and then pull down, and we do we create some more structure here before we eventually, before it eventually fails and we come down. But this would have been the great so so this would have been the entry. The entry would have been right here at a break of this candle. Again, if we're confident in um, our higher level analysis that says that the market should be coming down and should approach this 100% level, um, even if it doesn't get all the way there, that's the direction that it should be going to. And we do have, um, we actually have some other things that help us. This this is the London high and low. And really at this point we're sweep, you know, We've come up above the London highs, and you know if it if it does push down, it's going to probably head down toward back towards the London low again, and um, so that can give us added, added you know sort of conviction that this is gonna this is gonna happen. Um, and then uh, so if I were to set my target at 20 ticks, which is or 20 points rather, which is what I would try and do. Uh, let's see where 20 points is. I'm not even sure. There's 14. I think uh, I think the 27 level, yeah, right here. So not not even to that 27 level. So this would have you would have had to hold this for <laughs> quite a long time. Uh, but even if it came back up to here, I mean that's that's not a bad trade, right? You know, 14, 15 points is is decent. Um, okay, so that's that's what we kind of missed. Um, that would have been the trade if we would have would have seen it. Now let's see where I did get in. Okay, I got in here. Um, and again, I think, you know, this, this is kind of what I was looking for, right? I missed, I missed this, this, uh, reaction. Instead, I came up here. We had a fair value gap created here. And so I was watching that. It looked like we were getting rejection off of there. So I went ahead and got into the break of this candle. I had set my stop loss and I, I, I wanted to give myself some room. So I set it, I think a full point. Well, not quite Is that half a point, two ticks. I have, I'm really zoomed in here. Uh, behind this for value gap, um, I mean, as luck would have it, that's exactly where price came back to test before it, it did fall. Um, so, you know, I can't really be too. Um, I, I guess the lesson to learn there is, you know, is that, um, you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to see where I could have had my stop loss and maybe above here. Um, you know, might it would have been a safer spot, um, but that was really kind of that. You know, that was really too much for me. I don't. What would that have been? Well, it's still only four points. Yeah, that's not too bad. Um, I should have given it more room, or cut it off sooner. Uh, one of the two. Either give it room, or as soon as it does this, boom, pushes back up. Just get out. Wait for another entry. Maybe get in off of, you know, my SMA or my, uh, yeah, EMA. Or something of that nature. So that was that trade, and then I basically spent the rest of the day kind of chasing it, looking for entries. Um, so nothing, nothing really great here. Um, you know, it looked like we were kind of retesting, coming down. I got in short here again, selling at the low. So this was really a bad entry. And as soon as I got in, I was uncomfortable with it, so I got out for a small win. Um, but we came back up here. We retested here and pushed down. So this, I felt better about this one. I ended up, this was, you know, this was a decent trade, um, three and a half points. And I ended up, I want to say I was targeting. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So this is what I was looking at. So right here, when I got in, I was looking left and I saw these, like these equal lows here. And this is, this is, I didn't see this at first. I was targeting the lower spot. Uh, but as soon as I saw price reacting here and getting hung up at this level, I, I just jumped out because I looked over and I saw this and I, I didn't trust it. Once we pulled back, I got back in and then I was targeting this area here, which is where I got out. You can see my exit right here. Okay. Um, so this was, this was actually, 
I'm I'm okay with these trades. These are these in my mind were good trades. The only issue I have is this one. I didn't see that first spot, um, and I could have held through it. Right, it w- it would have worked, but I I don't really like doing that. So after that, I left because I had to go do some moving things. Um, missed the rest of the. Here's the lunch, the lunch hour, and then I came back in the afternoon late. Um, so let's see what price did. Uh, you'll you'll notice the, and I know I'm jumping around here. These London levels, okay. These were these were pretty strong levels today. You can see in the AM session we tapped it a couple of times. Lunchtime we came, you know, so we swept below it. We pushed back up, and where did you know in the afternoon session our high touched to the tick, that London high. Okay, and then started to drop from there. Um, once it touched that and started to come down, I was looking for, well, I guess I, I did try and get in one more here. Uh, so I again, I was just looking for a reason to get in. Not, none of this was really, um, really great. Um, I should have, once I saw this, just, just pop back down. Okay, I got in, I bought... I sat through all this for several minutes. It looked like it was going to push up, and then this candle just rocketed down. I wanted to wait to see a close below this this fair value gap, which was which, you know, I don't even know how valid it really was, but from way over here, um, unfortunately, uh, this candle just shot down here and and tagged me out. Um, so that was hit my stop loss at two and a half points. So small losses um again i was i was looking for it to kind of pick back up on its upward <laughs> upward journey it never did um it came back here looked like it was maybe testing this and pushing up i got in it wasn't sold out stopped out here um again these were not good trades simply because i was i was trying to find something i was trying to make something work um and clearly that just did not work. Um, finally, over here, I was I was watching this. And sorry, I was just drawing all these lines everywhere. Uh, where's my delete button? Here we go. Um, but you can you can see this is starting to starting to look weak. Um, and sure enough, we dropped here, came up to test. You know, there's a fair value gap here, right? In fact, this is kind of a nice one. I mean, like. I mean, price just stopped at that level, right? And wicked up in there, but nothing, and then dropped. So once it dropped, I got in, and I was I I had my ATM strategy set at a one, just a one point, <laughs> one point. I was just looking for some kind of a win to end the day, um, and uh, of course the one the one time I have my um, target set at one point, it just it just drops, uh, and again, where does it drop to? Well, it drops back down. And takes out. Let's see where does it go to. Well, we ha- we had a pullback before it did, but it eventually comes back down to this this twenty seven level, um, right here. So, you know, these are these are logical places we would not be surprised to see price go. Um, well, that's it. That's it. So uh, the moral of the story today was when the pr- when price is just kind of rangy and choppy, either you know. Be willing to just sit on your hands and wait for something to kind of break out or I don't know, go make a sandwich, go paint a painting, go do something else, something not associated with watching the charts. Um, so that's it. Um, I didn't have uh, the only other thing that I was watching was on the NQ on the 15 minute chart. I've been watching these, these reversal trades. Um, Sorry, my monitors are kind of weird ever since I set them up over here. Um, So this is a 15 minute chart. And what I'm looking for here is these these reversal candles. Uh, This is the uh, Trader Rob, his Rob reversal, he calls them. Um, And I'm just kind of watching these to see how these work. If I had been here, I was not at, in front of my computer at this time, but this would have been a trade I would have taken in my $300,000 test account. 
Um, and what we're looking for here, and there's a little indicator that shows these, but these these reversal, where you know we have an up close candle here. Um, here, hold on. Let me get rid of this. I have too many indicators turned on here. It's there we go. Get rid of those. So we have an up close candle. We have price come above it, push down below it, and close a down close candle that closes within the body of the previous up close candle after it breaks the high. Okay, so we break the high of this candle. We break the high. We we finish on the low, uh, but we do not break the low of the previous candle. Um, that would be a setup. The way that he s teaches it is where we should look for 30, 30 points on this guy. And this one, I think went for like 60. I mean, technically if you held it, it went 60 points. Um, so it would have worked. That was, that was the only one you're looking for any, you're looking for one to close, um, where the direction matches, uh, the side of this eight EMA, right? So we're looking for a short and we're on the bottom of this EMA. So that's good. Um, this is the only one I think I saw cause this one closes below this one closes below the EMA. So th those are not entries. Um, this one closes below, but it's a short entry. So that works. Um, and then that's it. Okay. This one doesn't work cause this is an up close candle. Um, I mean it, it would have worked, but it not based on that strategy. So that would have been one trade that would have worked. So that is, um, so it was long today. I should if, should take less trade, so these videos are shorter. Um, that's my trade log for today. Uh, so how did the PL ended up end up? Well, it was positive. I mean, you know, positive seventy five bucks. We're we're getting there. We're move, slowly moving forward. Um, as long as we don't have you know preserving capital, we're not moving backwards. As long as we're moving forward, we're going to hit that goal eventually, right? So it, I can't really complain. Um, for the day that it was, it could have been worse. Um, again, I really just need to work on patience uh, and holding these trades. Um, you know, this was the trade. I just had my stop loss a little too close. Um, you know, when when I practice this trade, I have. Um, yeah. My original back testing said I should give myself five points of a stop loss because I mean, I'm looking for 20 points on this trade. So, um, it can take a while to play out, but the risk to reward there is pretty good. And, um, it has a high probability of success, uh, if I pick, pick the direction, but I don't think I was completely convinced of, of the direction at this point in time. So, but that's where I think, is it, uh, what's the guy's name? Hogard that talks about the best loser wins. You gotta be willing to lose in order to get the win. So, that's the lesson today. Anyway, have a good day. Hopefully uh, your day was successful. Either you, um, hopefully you executed your plan. That's really all you can do. Execute your plan. If you executed your plan the way that you have it defined, then that's a winning day. When, you know, whatever your PL shows, um, the discipline is key. So hopefully you had a great day. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.